What's up YouTube? My name is Mark and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. So today I want to talk a little bit about some of the apps that we use on our cell phones that have basically replaced the need to carry a GPS when you're out hunting in the field. These apps are super cool. They allow you to track yourself. Uh, you can see where you are on the map. You can drop pins. You can share your location with friends. Um, but each of these apps have slightly different versions of these functions. So I'm going to talk about the differences between the two most popular ones, and that is Onyx, Hunt Maps, and Hunt Stand, and why at the end of the day, Danny and I choose to use Hunt Stand over Onyx. Now, before I made this video, I actually contacted Onyx and Hunt Stand, told them I was going to do this video and asked if uh, they would give a promo code that you guys could use to get a little bit of money off. Onyx did not oblige, but HuntStand did. So if you wanna get 10% off on Onyx Pro, uh, if you go down in the description, there's a link there, click that link and use the promo code uh, that is right above the link uh, and you'll get 10% off. Now, by the time you're seeing this video, our quarterly giveaway for this quarter is gonna be just finished. We gave away an awesome Winchester SXP shotgun that was fully customized. So congratulations to the lucky winner. Uh, but we're going to be doing more giveaways just like this. We do one every three months or so. Uh, we haven't quite decided what our next giveaway item is going to be, but I promise you it's going to be something really sweet. So make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that when we post the video about our next giveaway, you'll know about it. All right, so let's talk about HuntStand and Onyx. So at their core, these two apps are incredibly similar. Both of them allow you to use maps. Uh, both of them allow you uh, to download those maps for offline use, which is great if you're gonna be in the back country where you don't have good signal. Uh, they both allow you to drop pins, draw tracks, uh, draw shapes, um, a whole bunch of different things that you can do in that mapping, which is great for scouting because before season, you can kind of drop pins on areas that you want to check out. Or while you're out there scouting, if you find some cool sign, you just simply drop a pin so that you know exactly where that was so you can come back to it later. For both of these apps, for $29.99 for the year, you get access to all of the features that it has. So they're pretty similar as far as price goes, except that on X, you only get access to the property boundaries and information for one state, whichever state you choose. Whereas with uh, Hunt Stand, you get the entire country. Now with Onyx, you can upgrade uh, for $100 a year and then you get access to the entire country. So huge price jump to get the same access with Onyx that you get with Hunt Stand for just $29.99. So if you're the kind of person that hunts in their home state, you might not care about this too much. But for Danny and I, at some point, we feel like, you know, we're going to start doing more and more out-of-state hunts. We've already done a few. So Hunt Stand just seems like the obvious choice for us. So one thing I do really like about Onyx is the number of icons that you get when you're placing items on the map. Uh, for Hunt Stand, you're a little bit limited. They don't have a ton of different icons to choose from. Uh, whereas Hunt Stand just has like, I mean, it's gotta be like a hundred different icons for pretty much anything that you can think of. So Onyx definitely wins in that regard, but that's pretty much the only thing about Onyx that's, that's really winning over uh, Hunt Stand. One of the things that I really like about uh, Hunt Stand is that you can separate the different areas that you hunt uh, into different maps. Whereas with Onyx, it's just one large map and all of your pins and all of your notes and everything go on the same map. And that can sometimes make it difficult to uh, find a spot where you wanna go. For instance, uh, let's say I wanna look at the area that I hunted when I was in Michigan this year. Uh, if I go on Hunt Stand, I simply go to the list of maps or hunt areas that I have and I click on that, that Michigan wildlife management area that I was at and, uh, and it'll just pull up that map. It'll show me all of the pins and stuff that I dropped on that map, and it's very easy. Whereas with Onyx, if I wanted to go to that area, I would actually have to just zoom in to the spot where that map 
or where that hunting area was. And this also rolls into the map sharing or feature sharing options uh, that come with both of them. Again, HuntStand wins in this regard because each one of those different maps for um, uh, for each of the hunting areas, you can share with different groups of friends. So for instance, if I'm hunting in Big Cypress and I have four buddies of mine that I hunt Big Cypress with, but I don't hunt with those buddies in a different WMA, I can simply share the Big Cypress map only with those friends. And when they put pins on that map and sync it, I can sync it and I get all the pins and notes that they put on there as well. So we're literally sharing all the information about the area that we're hunting together only between that small group. And then I could do the same thing with a different hunt area with a completely different group of friends. So it makes it really easy to share all of that information. Uh, you just share the whole map and you're done. Let's say you get in a fight with one of your buddies and you don't want him looking at your maps anymore, you don't want to share. It's really easy to just remove them if you're the admin, take them off of the map, and they no longer have access to all of that information. So it makes things very easily. It makes things very easy. Now with Onyx, it's kind of different. In order to share uh, information on these maps, you actually just have to share each individual pin and you can like send them to each other through a text message which if you, like for instance, if I go on a scouting mission and I drop a bunch of pins in an area and I wanna to talk to my buddy about it and I wanna share the map so he knows what I'm talking about, I have to sit there and send him every single pin that I dropped, which when you drop 20, 30, 40 pins in an area, it becomes a complete pain in the butt and he's gotta click every single link and save it onto his map. So. Uh, the, the feature of sharing information through Onyx is really just not very intuitive and it's a total pain in the butt. HuntStand wins on that one. Now, while HuntStand does kind of lack in the uh, variety of pins that you can drop on a map, it does have some features that compensate for this. And that is that you can actually switch between different layers or different versions of the maps. So you can put all the pins for sign um, and things like that, uh, food plots, food sources, uh, trails, tracks, whatever. You can put all of that on one map uh, but that map gets pretty clust like cluttered. There's a lot of pins on there usually because there's just all kinds of things you want to drop on that map. Uh, you can put the locations of your tree stands and stuff like that. But it allows you to switch to different maps. So for instance, one of the maps that you can use on Hunt Stand is using the trail cameras feature. So when you click on the trail cameras map, it gets rid of all those other pins and it only shows you the locations of your trail cameras, which is cool. Uh, but what you can also do is you can actually use their like trail camera management tools. And I have to admit, I haven't used uh, these, these features and I'm gonna do another video specifically on that once I have sort of figured out how to use them. But according to the description of these features, uh, you're able to upload pictures from each of the trail cameras uh, to uh, that particular trail camera. And then the app has the ability to uh, draw the information about the, the heat, the, or sorry, the temperature, the, the weather, the moon phase, all of those, uh, those environmental factors that we consider when we're picking a spot to hunt. Um, and it can generate a heat map of activity, uh, you know, and, and give you a lot of insight about where you wanna be uh, during different times using the information from your trail cameras. So that's a super cool feature that again, I haven't really explored much, but it's something I'm really looking forward to, to using. Then there's also a map for harvests. So whenever you've harvested something somewhere, you can drop a pin and show, you know, what animal it is that you harvested there. Um, and again, so you don't really have to mix that in with uh, you know, with all the other pins that you have. If you're just thinking like, oh, where was that one spot that I shot that buck? You go to this map, you've got all your pins of where you've harvested things, and it makes it easy to navigate that. All right, so another one of the maps that you can use is the sightings map. So as this sounds like, this will just show you all the places where you saw an animal. So if you're like walking on a trail, you spot a deer, it bounces out of there, drop a pin that way. Later on when you're like, man, I don't know where I want to go hang my stand. Oh, but I did see that one buck over here. 
you can pull up this map, you know exactly where everything was. Now that covers all of the mapping features or most of the mapping features that you're gonna be using with these apps, but they also have the ability to look at weather. Uh, so you can look at like wind direction, the temperature, you know, uh, the atmospheric pressure, things like that. Um, Onyx does have features like that, but I have to say that it's pretty useless. Um, it's incredibly difficult to navigate and to get any kind of meaningful information for the location that you're at using the weather features that Onyx has. Whereas HuntStand is actually really useful. It has uh, two things that I really like. First of all, you can or actually three things that I really like. First, you could just look at the weather. You can tell, you know, is it gonna rain? Is it gonna be windy? Uh, what's the temperature gonna be like? Whatever, simple. You can use all kinds of apps to find that information anyway, but Huntstan will integrate that uh, into the app. It also has this really cool feature uh, called Hunt Zone, which will show you the wind direction. Um, and it plots this bullseye, if you drop a, you know, if you hit the map wherever, let's say you want to sit in a tree stand, you drop this bullseye on the tree stand, it's actually going to show you which section of that, uh, that, that bullseye is where you don't want a deer to come from. So <clears throat> it's going to show you, you know, the, the downwind side, but it also has the ability to move uh, the time frame to a certain period of time that you're interested in. So let's say you know, I'm getting ready to go hunt a spot tomorrow. And I'm like, well, I got two tree stands to choose from. Let me see what the wind's gonna be doing from 6 a.m. until 10 a.m. because that's when I'm gonna be sitting there. And you can actually take this little slider, go through the temper or through time and figure out where the wind's gonna be blowing at different times. I probably use that hunt zone feature more than anything else uh, on the hunt stand app. It's super useful if you're a tree stand hunter or even if you're just you know, still hunting and you're moving through the woods and you wanna keep the wind in your face, it's a really useful tool to know what the wind's gonna be doing during the time that you're hunting. And it's actually pretty accurate or, or at least down here in South Florida it is. One of the other features that I use a ton in hunt stand is the solunar charts. So it'll tell you uh, you know, when the moon is rising, when it's overhead, when it's uh, um, setting, when it's underfoot. Um, and then from that, it actually predicts the peak game movement times. So it'll show you the major movement times, the minor movement times. Um, and I have found that these are, uh, I don't want to say they're accurate because I don't want them to discourage you from being in the woods uh, at times outside of these um these times that they're suggesting have high movement because I, I do see animals moving outside of these times, but I have found that I do see the most movement during the periods that this app predicts are gonna be the, uh, the uh, peak movement times. So that's also a really, really useful tool. Um, and so with all of that put together, I, the Hunt Stand app just gives you a lot more for your money and that's the reason that Danny and I have chosen to go with Hunt Stand. Um, yeah. And there's a couple other features in Hunt Stand that I personally don't really use, but they may be useful to other people. There's actually a like to do list, like a tasks board. So let's say that you uh, manage a property together with a group of guys, those guys are on that group. You can make a to do list like we got to plant this food plot and we got to fill up this feeder and we got to do this and that. So, uh, you know, and then everybody in the group is able to check those off if they were able to do it or whatever it is. Um, there's also the ability to share location. We always do this. Um, now for, for my hunting group, all of us have iPhones. So we just use the iPhone, um, uh, location sharing feature just because it's easy, but that's not always the case. So this app does allow you to share location uh, with your buddies uh, when you're hunting. So let's say somebody has an accident, they fall out of their tree stand, they get bit by something, they get attacked, I don't know, whatever, whatever could possibly happen out there. Uh, let's say they become unresponsive, you're able to find your buddy and get them out of there safely. Uh, so that's a really useful feature um, that, you know, uh, anybody should be using if they're not using the, the feature that your phone already offers. 
So all in all, both of these apps have great features that really help the outdoorsman, the hunter, uh, with organizing, uh, you know, all the information that we have about the places that we hunt. Uh, but for Danny and I, at least, we feel that HuntStand just offers a lot more that's useful for us. Um, and that even though Onyx, uh, you know, has done a great job, uh, some of the, uh, the usability of that app uh, is lacking and HuntStand is, is just where it's at. So if like us, you agree that HuntStand is the best choice, you should go ahead and get it. So with that, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was uh, helpful for you guys and that this answers some of your questions. Make sure you like the video, tell your friends about it, drop a comment, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We'll catch you guys next time.